You beg. You read. Proceed reading. This is now the motion for the removal of the governor, His Excellency Amos Kimoni Yaribo, from office of town governor Nyamira County by way of impeachment. Passed one to us for 1811A, B, and C of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, Section 33 of the County Government Act 2012, and the Nyamira County Assembly Standing Order 62. Mr. Speaker, aware that Article 232, Clause 2 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, prescribes the values and principles of public service for all state organs in both levels of government and all state corporations, which are inscribed in Article 2321 as follows. High standards of professional ethics, efficient, effective, and economic use of resources, responsive, prompt, effective, impartial, and equitable provision of services, involvement of the people in the process of policy making, accountability for administrative acts, Transparency and provision to the public of timely and accurate information subject to paragraphs H and I, fair competition and merit as the basis of appointment and promotion. Representation of Kenya's diverse communities and affording adequate and equal opportunities for appointment, training, and advancement at all levels of the public service of, of men and women, the members of all ethnic groups, and the persons with disabilities. Mr. Speaker. Further, Article 10, 3, 73 and 75, 1 of the Constitution, provides that the national values and the principles of governance, the responsibilities of leadership and the conduct of state officers respectively, which requires all state office holders to exercise the authority and the public trust assigned to the office in a manner that demonstrates and brings respect for the people, honor to the nation and the dignity to the office promotes public confidence in the integrity of the office and accountability to the, to the public for decisions and actions and in your manner that avoids conflict between personal interest and the public or official duties comprising any public or official interest in favor of a personal interest or demeaning the stature of the office of the office that the officer holds as a key guiding principles of leadership and integrity. Mr. Speaker, Further, aware of the letter and the spirit of Article 174 and 175 of the Constitution on objects and principles of devolved government, as read together with Section 30, Clause 2, 3 of the County Government Act 2012, which provides for the functions and the responsibilities of a county governor and the performance of those functions. Noting that the doctrine of separation of powers and it is inherent demand for the dutiful and equitable distribution of resources by public officials to citizens at 174 and 175 essentially provide for accountable service delivery to all Kenyan citizens. At 181, one, which lays the grounds upon which a county governor may be removed from office, keeps to the spirit of providing a check and balance in keeping the objects and principles of developed government. This assembly now resolves to remove His Excellency Honorable Amos Kimomi Yaribo from the office of the county governor in Yamira County by impeachment. Passed to Article 181, Clause 1A, B, C of the Constitution, Section 33 of the County Government Act 2012, and the Standing Order Number 62 of the Nyamira County Assembly Standing Orders on the following grounds and the particulars therein. Grounds of grounds and particulars of impeachment. One, gross violation of the Constitution and other laws. The Governor. Mr. Speaker, grossly violated the Constitution and other laws as demonstrated below. One, gross violation of the Constitution by illegal recruitment of county staff, whereas Articles 10, 27, 4, and Article 2, 3, 2, 1G of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, values and principles of public service require fair competition and merit as the basis of our appointment. And whereas Section 5, 2 of the Employment Act 207, requires an employer to promote equal opportunity in employment and strive to eliminate discrimination in any employment policy or practice. The governor openly violated this section of the law by single-handedly sourcing Mr. Godfrey Kiriago and Ms. Edmelda Nyaberi for appointment in the, term, in the county public service for the position of Director of Human Resource Management and the Human Resource Officer, respectively, the position of Director of Human Resource Management and the Human Resource Officer. 
by way of jerry picking a process that was devoid of competitiveness. This recruitment did not satisfy the standards set out in law. This violation was affirmed by the Honorable Court in Employment and Labor Relations Court at Sumo ELIC petition number E047 of 2021, which, which declared the appointment and the secondment of Patrick Kiriawa Nyangamo and the Emerita Kimutu Neferi as illegal, discriminatory, and unconstitutional. Further, whereas in Section A15 of the County Human Resources Policy Manual states that the decisions of the County Public Service Board will be communicated through the Secretary, the County Public Service Board, the Governor and the, chair, and the Chairperson of the County Public Service Board jointly accept the functions of the Secretary stroke CEO, Nyamira County Public Service Board, and issued appointment letters to the two officers. By actually picking Mr. Godfrey Kiriago and Emerita Nyabeli, the Governor violated Article 10 and Article 274 of the Constitution of Kenya 2020 on principles of patriotism, rule of law, good governance, integrity, transparency, accountability, sharing, and devolution of power. The governor's illegal recruitment of county staff violated the Article 2321G of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, which provides for the values and principles of public service, which include, but not limited, to fair competition and the merit as the basis of appointment and promotions. Mr. Speaker, witness included there, Douglas Major, and the annex we have one, two, three, four, five, and the six. B, violation of the Constitution by denying students their right to education, whereas Article 274 of the Constitution of Kenya requires that the state shall not discriminate directly or indirectly against any person on any ground, including race, 